When sharks and humans spar, the sharks don't get much sympathy. Came towards me, I just kind of balled up in a fetal position and tried to hold them off. That's why nine shark bite victims made a splash on Capitol Hill today, urging Congress to protect the very animals that attacked them. You would think we would all hate sharks. Especially when you consider their stories. Debbie Salamone's Achilles heel was severed off Cape Canaveral, Florida in 2004. Al Brenica was attacked while surfing down the coast in Delray Beach. When I put my arm down, he was coming up. The lifelong fisherman didn't always feel as charitably towards sharks as he does now. Um, I did kill a couple sharks in revenge, going out and doing it revenge and stuff like that. But that was in the very beginning before I started to learn about sharks. What he learned was that a third of shark species are threatened with extinction. An estimated 100 million sharks are slaughtered every year, three quarters of them just for their fins to make shark fin soup an Asian delicacy. Most shark species just can't reproduce fast enough to sustain the type of commercial fishing that's going on for them. The nine survivors want Congress to close a legal loophole that some fishermen have exploited to get around the shark finning ban. I have a perfect shark's tooth scar there and a gash there. Where Chuck Anderson, now an stomach. avid triathlete, has come to terms with his injury and his attacker. I went in that shark's territory. I, I decided to go out in his domain. And even in that domain, the ocean's mightiest predator is now facing its greatest threat. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Capitol Hill.